there, welcome back to Beauty Bee, where today I found this sitting in my mailbox. This is my Walmart beauty box. This did come shrink wrapped and with a label that had my address on it. I've taken that off. I have not yet opened the box though. This is a $6.98 box, I believe. They ship it out quarterly for me with shipping, which is actually included in the price tag, as well as tax. It comes out to right around $7.50. This will be the second Walmart Beauty box that I have received. I also got the winter one, which worked out incredibly well for me. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. And in the interest of being able to demonstrate some of the items that are in this box, I'm not currently wearing any makeup besides some lip balm. So let's see what we've got. The first thing is just a just a card that explains some of the items that may be in here. I think last month I had maybe six or seven items, five or six of which were on the card and one of which just totally wasn't. So let's pull out item number one. The so the item on top is from Lottie London. This is the Arch Rival Brow Artist Pencil, and unfortunately mine came in the shade Dark Brown. I don't expect that that will work out for me, but I will open it up towards the end of the video and give it a swatch, or you know, at least look at the pencil just to see if it might be good for me. Next we have something from Black Opal. True Color Illuminating Stick. Let's see what this looks at, looks like. If it is actually as brown as it looks on the cover, this is not gonna work for me. That might be an okay cream bronzer on me, but there's no way that that is a, a cream highlight on me. Honestly, it might even be too deep. Yeah, I don't have a lot of hope for this product. I'll need to go over my profile again. I wondered last month as well, or last season as well, if maybe I was receiving a box that was intended for people of color. And this is not suggesting to me that this was aimed at, you know, a fair, auburn blonde haired white woman. Next we have this liquid IV hydration multiplier. I don't know why they send these. This seems like a weird fit for a beauty box, but you know what? It's essentially powdered Gatorade, I think. So I might use it. I probably won't. Next we have some Biore Deep Cleansing Charcoal Pore Strips. Well, actually we have Pore Strip. There's only one in here. I have used these in the past. I think they're fine. I don't think that they are great for your skin, if I recall, but as a once in a while treatment, just if things are getting really clogged right in this area, I think they can be nice. So I will use it. It's not something I'm super excited about. But unfortunately, I think that so far, that might be the single thing that's going to work out the best for me from this box. Yeah, exciting stuff. Next, we have a CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skincare Weightless Water Cream. I do tend to like water creams or water gel moisturizers. This is pretty small. This is a 1.5 mil size, but that should be enough for at least two, maybe three applications. So I think I might actually have a good idea of whether or not I would like this by the end of it, which well, that's the point of a sample, right? So I will give that a go. Next, we have a shampoo conditioner duo. This is from Not Your Mother's. It is their anti-frizz smooth moves shampoo and conditioner. There's probably enough for two, maybe three uses in each of these. And I do actually like these shampoo conditioner 
duos, especially when it comes with both. I don't really like getting just a foil packet of shampoo or a foil of conditioner, but if I can get both, that's really nice. And I don't think I've ever tried that line from Not Your Mother's. I've tried some of their Beach Babe products and really liked them. I've tried their Clean Freak stuff and enjoyed that, but I don't think I've tried the Smooth Moves, so that'll be interesting. And then the last thing in this box is a tiny little liquid lipstick sample. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Pioneer, which I think I've actually owned this before too, and I really did like it. It just went bad on me. If I recall correctly, this is like a bright, bright red. So let's give that a go. See what this looks like. Oh yeah, that is, that is the shade I recall. It has a little bit of berry to it, but it is so, so bright. Yeah, so this is exciting. This is about the size I would actually have liked to have of my Superstay Matte Ink in the first place. And I remember this color working out really well for me. My lips are not in the kind of shape where I can use this today. So I guess I won't be doing as much of a try on as I had originally intended. This black opal cream, well, cream bronzer is what I'm gonna call it. I will give it a go. Let's, we'll see how that works out for me. And let me open up that brow pencil and see what that looks like. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. This is just way too dark. Um, it's not a bad color to include in a box. It doesn't seem to be catered towards any specific group. I imagine that if you had black or dark brown hair, this would work really well. I just don't. So let's see how this cream bronzer works out for me. This does have some sheen to it, so I'm not going to try it as a cream contour. I'd like to at least put it up at my temples or around my hairline and see, see if I can make this work. I really did not think through this when I was getting ready. I'm gonna just take a buffing brush and honestly that might be an okay cream blush shade on me it has, I'm seeing some pink come through when I blend it let's give that a go on my cheeks out really well. Okay, Walmart Beauty Box, you have redeemed yourself. Now I'm up to a full-size product that will work out for me, a little mini that I'm quite happy to have, and essentially a couple of foil packets. So for $7.50, I think this worked out pretty well. Let's look and see what, what they're saying the monetary value on these items is. They do not actually have the black opal uh, illuminating stick included, so I will put the price up at the top of the screen. I imagine that this is the priciest item in the box. The Maybelline Superstay, the full size is $8. And Honestly, I will get as much use out of this little guy as I probably would have out of the full size. So it's probably not quite worth $8, but I think it's a 
reasonable price point. The Lottie London Arch Rival Brow Artist Eyebrow Pencil is $6.98. The full size of the Not Your Mother's are $7.74 maybe. It doesn't make it clear if that is $7.74 each, which I would assume it is. Um, that would make sense to me for each the shampoo and the conditioner. The moisturizer from CoverGirl, which I'm showing you upside down, is $15 for two ounces, which seems right up around the same price point as most drugstore moisturizers, maybe a little bit on the more affordable side. And then the Biore pore strips are also not listed on here. So there's what I got in my Walmart beauty box. I think it worked out okay for me. This definitely was not as big of a hit as last season's, but for $7.50, I am pretty happy with what I received. Let me know what you got in your box if you get the Walmart beauty box. I would be really interested to see how our boxes compare. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please consider liking and subscribing if you did, and I hope that I will see you all in my next video. Bye!